Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If it's your first time tuning in, we appreciate you tuning in. If you're an old hand and you're back again, thanks for coming back. Today we got a little something special for you. I've been asked to uh, do a little bit about my workbench and some of the stuff that I use and my stash. So we'll just go ahead and get started with the stash. Hang on while I extend my little handheld deal out here for you. Hopefully I don't make it too sick. Woo. All right. These selfie sticks are great. They collapse and they come back in. All right, so leaving the workbench, we'll head on up to the stash. Starting up here in this corner. Well, maybe we should start down here. These are some of the parts that we got pinned up on the wall. Five on five dirt racing wheels. And Goodyear, Hoosier, and McCreary. I think that's how you pronounce that. McCreary uh, race wheels and tires. From there, we step up to our stash. Starting with the JR Salvinos. And moving to our right, we got the JR Salvino stash. And just after them, we come into the Polar Lights, the MPC. All right, keep it coming around the corner. Uh, Lindbergh kits. Uh, and then we start our AMT stuff. So then it's the AMT. These are all the NASCAR stuff, obviously. Uh, I try to keep it organized by either teams or... Uh, make of car, Ford, Chevrolet, Pontiac, all that. And then right here we switch to the monogram. And then the monogram goes on down to the corner. Once we get to the corner, we'll drop down real quick. We got some AMT stuff here, some dirt car st stuff. And some Wes's Corner. And then our Revell kits, NASCAR kits, are here. So they actually are just under the AMT kits to give you an idea. And we work our way down here to the end of the Revell line. Got some 3D printed big truck wheels. Got a couple of big trucks coming up. A uh, little bin for the catch-all stuff. Inside this cabinet, which I don't think I got to open it and then step back. But inside of here is our Jimmy Flintstone stuff. Got a bunch of Jimmy Flintstone. And we've retired our spray cans. I got nothing against spray cans. If you guys use them, good for you. No worries. I just, with our scale finishes paint and our airbrush booth, I've gotten away from rattle cans altogether. Not mad at them. Just don't use them anymore. Uh, okay, where do we leave off? All right, let's head to the corner. And we'll head up to the corner and we'll carry on with our monogram kits trying not to shake it to death all right more monogram kits over there coming around the corner then we get into some more of our dirt car stuff some older kits then we step over here to our trucks and haulers those of you that know me know i'm a jeep guy on a jeep shop so you know i'm going to have some jeep models and some haulers and stuff there. Got some Revell kits there. And we'll kind of ease over here to get a straight shot at this stuff. But got an upside down AMT kit. Not to fix that. But we got some AMT kits, some monogram kits. This is kind of my catch all corner, guys. It's got a little bit of everything. Uh, monster trucks, street machines, testers. If you look real close in the back, there's some of the. Johan AMX stuff or AMC stuff, Javelins, AMXs, uh, down here at the bottom, more muscle car stuff, yep, another Jeep, some monster truck stuff, but we also just built a new shelf today to kind of make some more room, I got stuff stacked up everywhere guys, everywhere, but that new shelf there it's got all AMT stuff on it so moving from our kits we'll start with the toolboxes all right we got our little mini snap-on toolboxes on top of our craftsman toolboxes but starting with the minis we got just what it says um, 
3D printed motors in there, the V10, the Hellcat, 426. But just like it says, that's all the 3D printed stuff. This one's full of stuff too. I just haven't labeled it yet. It's got tires and wheels and all kinds of different stuff. The top box, most of those labels are wrong. I've had to relabel everything. Let me compress this selfie stick down so we can get a little closer and open these drawers and let you take a look. All right, so in the bottom, that's where we keep all our bodies and the chassis or two. Uh, not the dead bodies, those are buried out back. These are different bodies. Uh, the chassis. And we keep all this stuff because you can use these chassis to turn into dirt car chassis or you can steal stuff off of them. You know, it's models. You don't throw nothing away that belongs to a model, that's for sure. What we got up here, we got all interior pieces, dashes, interior roll cages, all stuff out of just old kits that over the years have either fallen apart or somewhere in moving, fell apart. So we got some axles, most of that's going to be NASCAR axles, drive shaft, uh, the truck type suspension for NASCAR. And then down here in our second toolbox, the bottom box, I guess you'd call it, just mostly supplies. Got some mixed cups and bottles that we keep all our, uh, you know, like our Solomons for cleaning the airbrush and whatever you might need in there. In here, it's kind of a catch-all. Extra glue, tape, the labeler, toothbrushes for cleaning, little sandwich baggies. You know, you got to have them baggies to keep up with loose parts, miscellaneous parts. Uh, stir sticks, uh, some brass pieces there for uh, making different things. I've made exhaust with them. Uh, you can make all kinds of stuff. Just gotta be creative. And then a catch all down here with our uh, evergreen sheet. We have a bunch of different evergreen sheet. Uh, an old truck that we're working on. Just like I said, a catch all. The cameras are in there. I'm gonna be working with those to figure out how we can shoot these with a camera and not my phone. So excited about that. Let's get that shut. Over here on the side of the toolbox, we have our evergreen, uh, let me see, we got channel, we've got tube, we've got rec rectangle tube and rod and rod tube. So we got all that. All right, so now to the workbench itself. The workbench started out as a Harbor Freight workbench and we built up from there, modified it. If you look here, this part right here, this color wood, is the actual workbench. And then this is where we modified it and added this piece. And that'll make more sense as we go along. We've got, uh, you know, clamps. Just got this, what I'm calling a sanding station. Just got this sanding station from Amazon. Keep all our sanding stuff there. Sanding pads, sanding sticks, files. Uh, some of our liquids are there too. Our, our primer surfacer and some of the liquid uh, putty and I got some extra stuff in there some uh, decal solution some um, glue there in the back just a little catch-all right now but mostly sand and station behind it is our Harbor Freight machinist box and it's got just what it says in it beads embossing powders paint brushes all kinds of different stuff in there uh, I got some models and some liquor. A buddy of mine went to uh, Ireland and he brought me back some genuine Irish liquor. So we'll have to get into that one day. And over here we have a little cabinet. And inside said cabinet we have our Jimmy Flintstone stuff. We got the Jimmy Flintstone Pete. Just a bunch of different Jimmy Flintstone stuff. And then well, our spray paints. And if I'm honest I've pretty much retired them spray paints. Uh, nothing against them. I ain't, ain't mad at them. I just don't use them anymore now that we got our scale Finishes products and our airbrush. They, I just prefer them. I don't know if you've all ever seen one of these. These are pretty cool this is a Holder to holds like motherboards and computer boards and that that they work on Well, what I use it for is it'll hold a frame you Stick a frame in there. It'll hold a frame on your model and you can paint it up and do whatever you want and you don't have to worry if you get it up off the table where you can work on it and see it if you're old like me you want to make sure you can see it let's put that back 
All right, so starting here, we're working, looking at the uh, Army Painter acrylic paints and washes. And I got my, my dirt car I just finished there. And next down, we get into all of our nibblers, nippers, not nibblers, <laughs> nippers, and different tools, uh, little mini pliers, uh, little snap on mini pliers. And I think we got God hands and we got yeah, God hands there. Let me get this chain out of the way. We got God hands there, Steela down there, Steel down there, Steely, however you pronounce it. And Army Painter stuff. And some no name stuff. I don't know who that is, but anyway, and then uh, our snap on little mini pliers. This little bench here, or the, not bench, this little shelf here, I just made this. Uh, made that one and the one at the opposite end. If you guys watched our last video, uh, you saw that we got a bunch of Tamaya paints, which are right here. Uh, once you get below the Army Painter and the nippers, not the nibblers, the nippers. You get into the tester stuff and you get into the Tamaya stuff. This is all of our hand painting products. Guys, if you look at it, what, what the goal is, is obviously we sit right here. So the plan is to have everything that I need that I paint with by hand is all in this section along with everything, you know, our paint brushes. So we got a paint brush holder over here. So everything's right here at the bench where I can work on it. It's convenient. Um, over here we got a little rotisserie that has, you know, different paint brushes. I mean, obviously that one's used for cleaning the table with and, and knocking dust down, but our uh, knives are up there, our uh, scribe, are different types of, uh, I call them Q-tips, but they're cotton swabs, uh, our little mini pin vise, and the little brushes. I find that those brushes work as good for applying glue as they do for applying paint. You know, getting in tight spots to apply paint. I'll take these little guys uh, and I'll put some Mod Podge on them. And when I put like a tail light or a headlight in, daub it in there. And then just put a daub on that headlight or tail light. And it gives it the a coating. You do the same thing with gauges on a uh, dash. And it gives it like a shine. And it looks really cool. Alright guys. Oh, let's take a break. And have a, have a swig right here. good stuff I highly recommend it guys that's uh, tap water with lemon uh, I got a little little desk vise here some extra glues um, they got the little clamps for holding parts while you paint them again I'll have one here so when I'm painting by hand I put it in there and boom you can sit and let it dry you know the enamels and the lacquers tend to take a little bit longer to dry but even the acrylics have to have time to dry uh, obviously there's the paints so inside the desk Starting over here, we will have our markers, pens, Molotov pens, markers, gel pens, uh, BC headache powders for when I've had a bad day. I even got some wood stain pens. Uh, I do put real wood, like in that 31 delivery that I'm building. Uh, we put real wood floors, wood running boards on it. So we stain that. Next to that is going to be our little tool section. In the drawers, we got all kinds of stuff in here. Our little pin vices, drill bits, we've got a tube and bender, uh, use those knives and, and those pieces to shape uh, the putty that we put on for filling in, you know, body filler putty, or glazing putty as it's called, uh, contour, what do they call it, contour, something or other that thing's called, use it to find contours with, uh, obviously that's why it's called contour something, uh, you got the mic there, metal rulers, uh, little knives, batteries for everything. And down here, down here we've got more supplies, alcohol pads, our putty, scissors. Uh, we've got our tweezers. These are where the tweezers that I use the most. Um, behind that is a leather hole punch. Uh, I got it for the last little bit, for like the first three holes. And, the one, the one and a half, and the two, that's millimeters, so it punches really teeny tiny holes. Uh, we've got some more sanding sticks, more supplies, just overflow, and uh, tape. So, I mean, just nothing, y'all got all the same stuff, I'm sure, but uh, there was some interest, so I wanted to show everybody. All right, we'll start down here. <laughs> Trash can. 
Everybody's got one of those. Uh, yeah, always trying to find a place to stash models, guys. Always trying to find a st place to stash models. Uh, we'll move up from there. It might make more sense to move up from there. From there, we got our little hobby vice. We've got our other workbench, or excuse me, mechanics box. And these guys, these guys are across from each other because they actually double as a shelf holder. They hold that one big shelf. And uh, going from there, we move up to, I uh, got some more glues in there. Let me just you know, find a place to put everything. Here we keep all our detail master, all our detail stuff. I'll try to extend it out so we can get up in there. There we go. Keep all our detail stuff here. Uh, I got it tacked up to the wall now. I'm not a big fan of how it's tacked up there. Uh, so I bought a piece of very thin flat steel today. It's a two by four piece of flat steel. We're going to put that, take all this stuff down, put that piece of flat steel up there and uh, get little magnets with hooks on them and put all this stuff up there so we can organize it a little better. Um, come on down. We got, you know, there's a lot of detail stuff. Everybody's got it. I got to put it out because if I put it in a drawer somewhere, I'll forget I have it and then I want it and I'll end up buying it and I already have it and that'll make me angry. All right, so coming on down, we'll try to show this section down here. You can see that table we were telling you about. We've extended it all the way down. And underneath here, next to our trash can and our model stash, we well, we have my protection, and then we have, you know, just different solvents and you know your, your holders for your model or bodies and whatnot while you're painting them. The uh, airbrush compressor, some cleaners, some black gloves, airbrushes. There's one up there in the corner as well. There's our airbrush station or our airbrush booth where we. Uh, do all our airbrushing. There's a hose for it that goes out the window. Oh, all right, so back over here, I'm trying to get everything in and make it quick, guys. But uh, we got some uh, art paint or acrylic tube paint. Uh, working with it, haven't painted a body with it yet. We we're just basically painting spoons with it and trying to figure out get the viscosity right. Um, it, it's good stuff. We just got to figure it out and work with it a little bit. The inks, I like the inks for doing. Um, like a patina look, uh, those inks work great for that. A little bit of that, a little bit of Elmer's glue, and you can be creative with it and have some fun. I got some quick shine, some painting spoons, some pipettes, and then we work over to this side where we got uh, cleaners, some more miscellaneous small parts. See you know what I mean, guys? Those parts are kind of everywhere. I get that wall up there and get a little more organized. I think that'll be cool. Uh, there's our spray booth. Coming up from the spray booth, um, we got, this is pretty cool, you might know this. Uh, obviously that's a, a bamboo holder for when you're painting airbrushing, you paint it in here, it sits next to the, normally sits next to the booth. And this, this is different, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this, but this is a cat scratch pad. And we cut it, we bought one, cut it in half, and then we use it to hold the paint brushes, or to hold the uh, skewers with when we're painting. So from there, we ease up to our Alclad paints. We got some Alclad paints here. And then from there, we'll ease over to, this is the airbrush section. So all this stuff is gonna be put on by airbrush. So we got the Army Painter airbrush section here. This is their different airbrush paints. And some different cleaners here. All good stuff, but like I said, it's all good stuff, but our pride and joy and our favorite starts up here. That's right, guys. Scale finishes. Great products. You guys have heard me talk about them before. Uh, love their products. We got a little bit of it. We're going to get more. I don't know if that light's going to let you see them all that well. I'm kind of bright. And then at the end is our flocking. But scalefinishes.com, guys. Go check them out and uh, fill up your cart full of their awesome, awesome products. Scroll to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, put in Outlaw 10. That's Outlaw in capital letters. And get you a 10% discount. 
well there it is guys there's the uh, tour and uh, we're gonna let you go we appreciate it please hit that like button subscribe share and ring that bell y'all be safe out there and we'll talk to you later